The Grand Canyon, a place of immense scale, where the horizon seems to stretch on forever, a testament to the power of geological time, each layer telling a story millions of years in the making. Yet even this ancient landscape is not immune to the forces of nature. The skies darken, and a sense of foreboding fills the air. In recent weeks the canyon has been battered by a series of severe weather events. The heavens opened up, unleashing torrents of rain. Torrential rainfall, uncommon in this arid region, transformed the canyon's normally dry washes into raging torrents. Waterfalls rarely seen cascaded down the canyon walls. Flash floods, sudden and violent, surged through the canyon's depths, carving new paths and altering the landscape in mere moments. These events, a stark reminder of nature's raw power, would have dire consequences. The water, carrying debris and sediment moved with unstoppable force. The normally clear Colorado River, a ribbon of jade green at the canyon's base, transformed into a muddy brown torrent. Its once serene flow became a churning mass of water. The sheer volume of water carrying debris and sediment surged downstream with immense force. Trees, rocks, and other debris were swept away in the deluge. Trails were washed away, viewpoints crumbled, and the very landscape of the canyon was reshaped. The power of the water left scars that would take years to heal. This display of nature's fury would leave an indelible mark both physically and emotionally. Visitors and park rangers alike were left in awe and sorrow, witnessing the canyon's transformation. The heavy rains and flash floods brought tragedy to the Grand Canyon, a place known for its breathtaking beauty and treacherous terrain. Three hikers, caught off guard by the sudden deluge, lost their lives in the unforgiving waters. They were experienced adventurers, but nothing could have prepared them for the sheer force of nature that day. They had been exploring a remote section of the canyon, a place far from the usual tourist paths. Unprepared for the rapid rise in water levels that turned a serene hike into a desperate struggle for survival. The unforgiving terrain and the sheer power of the floodwaters made rescue efforts impossible. Emergency responders despite their best efforts were unable to reach the stranded hikers in time. Their deaths sent shockwaves through the park and beyond, affecting not only their families but also the entire community of outdoor enthusiasts and park visitors. It served as a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in exploring such a wild and unpredictable environment. The Grand Canyon, with its majestic beauty, also holds hidden perils that can turn deadly in an instant. The National Park Service, tasked with protecting both the park and its visitors, faced a difficult decision. They had to balance the need for public safety with the desire to keep the park accessible to all. Closing sections of the canyon, perhaps even the entire park, was necessary to prevent further loss of life. This tragic event underscored the importance of respecting nature's power and the need for caution when exploring its wonders. The decision to close sections of the Grand Canyon, though necessary, had far-reaching consequences. For the local communities that rely heavily on tourism, the closure was a significant blow. Businesses dependent on the steady stream of visitors, from hotels and restaurants to tour operators and souvenir shops, faced an uncertain future. The economic impact was immediate and severe. Workers were laid off, revenues plummeted, and the livelihoods of many were put at risk. The closure also placed a strain on the National Park Service staff. Park rangers already stretched thin, faced the daunting task of enforcing the closure, managing the influx of concerned inquiries, and assisting with recovery efforts. Yet, amidst the tragedy and disruption, a unique opportunity arose. The closure, while devastating for tourism, provided an unprecedented chance for conservationists and researchers. With human activity curtailed, the canyon became a vast living laboratory. Scientists could study the impact of the floods on the canyon's delicate ecosystems without human interference. Wildlife biologists seized the opportunity to observe animal behavior in the absence of human disturbance. The canyon's inhabitants, from bighorn sheep to California condors, were free to roam and forage undisturbed. This period of quiet allowed for valuable data collection and a rare glimpse into the canyon's natural rhythms. A changing landscape, the Grand Canyon in a warming world. The recent extreme weather events at the Grand Canyon raise broader concerns about climate change. These events are not isolated incidents but part of a growing pattern that scientists are observing worldwide. The Grand Canyon, a natural wonder known for its stunning vistas and geological significance, is now becoming a focal point in the discussion about global warming. While the canyon has always been subject to natural variations in weather patterns, 
the intensity and frequency of these recent events suggest a shift towards a warmer, more unpredictable climate. This shift is characterized by more extreme weather conditions, including hotter summers and colder winters which are becoming more common. Scientists warn that climate change will likely lead to more frequent and severe droughts in the region, which could have devastating effects on the local flora and fauna. The arid conditions make it difficult for plants to survive, and the animals that depend on them are also at risk. Punctuated by periods of intense rainfall, these heavy rainstorms, while providing temporary relief from drought, can cause significant damage to the landscape. This could result in a higher frequency of flash floods and increased erosion within the canyon. Flash floods can carve out new channels and alter the course of rivers, leading to further instability in the ecosystem. The long-term consequences for the canyon's delicate ecosystem and its ability to support diverse life forms are uncertain, but potentially dire. The unique species that inhabit the Grand Canyon, some of which are found nowhere else on Earth, may face extinction if these trends continue. The balance of this intricate ecosystem is at risk, and the future of the Grand Canyon as we know it hangs in the balance. Eyes in the sky, boots on the ground, technology's role in protection. In the face of these challenges, technology is playing an increasingly vital role in monitoring and managing the Grand Canyon. Remote sensing technologies, such as satellites and drones, provide real-time data on weather patterns, water levels, and vegetation health. This information is crucial for predicting and responding to potential hazards, such as flash floods and wildfires. On the ground, sensor networks are being deployed throughout the canyon to monitor everything from seismic activity to air quality. These sensors provide a constant stream of data, allowing park managers to track changes in the environment and make informed decisions about park management and visitor safety. The Long Road Back – Balancing Safety, Sustainability and Access As the floodwaters recede and the initial shock subsides, attention turns to the daunting task of reopening the Grand Canyon. The damage to trails, infrastructure and the natural environment is extensive. Repairing this damage while ensuring the safety of visitors and protecting the canyon's fragile ecosystem is a complex balancing act. The NPS faces the challenge of rebuilding in a way that is both resilient to future extreme weather events and minimizes the impact on the environment. This involves using sustainable building materials, restoring natural drainage systems, and designing trails and infrastructure that can withstand the forces of nature. Lessons Learned – Adapting to a New Reality The recent events at the Grand Canyon serve as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of respecting its limits. They also highlight the need to adapt to a changing climate and the increasing frequency of extreme weather events. For visitors, this means being prepared for all types of weather, checking forecasts before venturing out, and heeding all warnings and closures. It also means understanding the risks inherent in exploring such a wild and unpredictable environment and taking appropriate precautions. The Spirit of the Canyon Resilience in the Face of Adversity Despite the challenges, the Grand Canyon, like the Colorado River that carved it, will endure. The canyon's story is one of resilience, of constant change and adaptation over millennia. The recent events, though tragic, are but a chapter in this ongoing narrative. The canyon's immense scale and timeless beauty continue to inspire awe and wonder. Its power reminds us of our own place within the grand scheme of nature. A call to action, protecting our natural wonders. The events at the Grand Canyon also serve as a call to action. Climate change is a global challenge that requires a global response. Reducing our reliance on fossil fuels, investing in renewable energy sources, and adopting sustainable practices are crucial steps in mitigating the impacts of climate change. Protecting our natural wonders like the Grand Canyon is not just an environmental imperative, but a moral obligation. These places are not just breathtaking landscapes but vital ecosystems, cultural treasures, and sources of inspiration for generations to come. The future of the Grand Canyon, a legacy to preserve. The future of the Grand Canyon, like that of our planet, hangs in the balance. The choices we make today will determine the fate of this natural wonder for generations to come. The task before us is clear, to preserve the Grand Canyon's beauty protect its biodiversity, and ensure that its legacy of wonder and inspiration endures. Let us rise to the challenge not just for the sake of the Grand Canyon, but for the future of our planet and all who call it home.